Hi everyone, today I want to talk about a potential update concept for Diablo 3 about loot filters. So you might know this concept already from other games, most importantly Path of Exile, but also for example Last Epoch which has introduced this into the base game by default. And loot filters are nothing really uncommon anymore in ARPGs and they are extremely helpful to just uh, allow the developers to make lots of different items for lots of different archetypes of builds but usually many items will not be useful for most builds and we see exactly the same thing in Diablo 3 where we have you know certain classes with certain sets and their legendary powers and all that and you usually don't care about like 98% of the items that drop and this is further amplified by the fact that you can find ancient versions of those items so that you have even more loot to sort out and essentially almost everything you find is absolute trash very quickly when you start playing the game. The reason why this has become such a problem in Diablo 3 is because of the basically infinite power creep that we see season after season. We have been farming GR90 plus with the loot cap for a long time now but when you, you know, push this to the extreme then you get overwhelmed with so much trash loot that you almost spend more time sorting out the loot than you actually spend playing the game. And at that point it really becomes a bit of an issue in my opinion and something that should be alleviated. Especially with this repetitiveness of you know going through trash items and you have to salvage them all one by one and then you have to gamble at Kadala 25 blood shards each so every single run you gamble like 20 items and then this accumulates to gambling almost 100 items in a row and you run back and forth for like a whole minute trying to right click very fast then salvage the yellows and then you also have to identify all those non-ancient items that you want to salvage anyway. So there is definitely a lot of micromanagement involved and also the issue that a lot of people automate these processes to give themselves a competitive advantage because they have much more time to spend in greater rifts. This goes to the extremes in some cases where you know the town time rotation is reduced to literally just two seconds of you know teleporting to town, running to the salvage, insta salvaging the entire inventory, going to Kardala, insta gambling the entire inventory, going back to salvage and doing this like two or three times in a few seconds and going back to the next greater rift, which obviously greatly reduces this downtime that you have and allows you to farm a lot more paragons, which has leaderboard implications. So people that do that with you know heavily optimized programs can definitely get something like 10, 20, potentially 30% more experience per hour when you do this with you know, groups of, for example, red runs that are extremely fast, usually have like maybe 90 seconds that you spend in the run, and then you have uh, around 15 seconds or so to upgrade your gems and go back to town and if you can go immediately back into the Great Rift instead of wasting another let's say 20 seconds per run to on average sort out your loot you get enormous amounts of extra XP. Here I can show you an example of how this actually works in Power of Exile. So you have um, like loot filters that you can make yourself and you can change how items look, the size and you can hide certain things so this is how, for example, you know, certain recipes are shown or you can highlight certain items that you care more about because they're like a crafting base. Most of these considerations don't actually apply to something like Diablo 3 because you have essentially no crafting in Diablo 3 so there is not really much of a reason to highlight certain items in different ways. But for example, sorting out loot directly from the ground without ever picking up would already be extremely valuable to save time and alleviate this problem that we have on the other three with having too much loot. There are a lot of potential solutions to this problem. One would be to simply nerf everything into the ground, bring us down back to GR50 maximum and we would not have so much issue with finding too many items so that you have to sort out the entire inventory every two minutes. So that would be a start, but personally I don't really see that happening, so we have to maybe go with some other ways. I think a start could be to have a salvage all legendary items button here next to the salvage all white, blue and yellow items. So you can just, you know, insta salvage the entire inventory instead of going through every single item one by one. It wouldn't really help that much with the sorting out loot problem but at least it would reduce the amount of clicks you have to do and it would reduce the time that you have to go through like 30 different items in your inventory to get rid of them so that you can fill up your inventory with trash again. While we're on the topic of reducing the amount of clicks needed in town rotations 
I would say that there could also be some updates to the gambling system. 25 blood shards per item is simply way too low. So you have to do so many clicks just to get rid of those blood shards you get from a single run. You get like 400 or 500 or more blood shards in potentially like a minute or two. And you just you know have to spam and spam and spam. Most people even macro this anyway. And then you have to run back and forth between Kadala and the Smith like eight different times to actually get rid of all these items. And I think this is extremely annoying and also something that should be changed at least giving the option to potentially, for example, pay 10 times the amount, but also have a guaranteed legendary instead. So why could these items not have 250 bloodshot costs, but instead of 10% chance, they're actually always one random legendary. But it would reduce the veiled crystal income slightly. I believe that's not really a big deal because you could just add a bit of extra value of veil crystals to the Rift Guardian drops that you have anyway. So you just give them like 10 more veil crystal drops or whatever and that problem will be solved. Now a really interesting thing that we could add here besides these very basic quality of life improvements would be to have an actual salvage list of items that you want to salvage and items that you want to keep. So what I mean is you could, for example, open like a little tab here or something and it lists literally every single legendary item in the game and every single set item in the game. And then you just have a checklist of items that you want to salvage. So similar to how we have our salvage list here on Maxwell, you could just select, you know, whatever you want. For example, as my wizard, I want to keep all my wizard sets. So I uh, do not check those. And then I want to salvage literally every single off-class item, like all the Barb, Crusader, Demon Hunter loot, or whatever. So I just like, you know, check mark, check mark, check mark. And then obviously there's all these, like, you know, 90% of legendaries that have absolutely no reason to exist uh, down here. So we just cross them all. And they would all be insta salvaged every time I press the button here somewhere in the game. Since I don't really see any parallel reality happening where we might actually want to keep most of these items on the salvage list because you know they might get some crazy legendary powers and they might be super awesome in some cases, where most likely nothing of that will ever happen. So we could just kind of like you know check it, insta salvage all that, and we don't have to bother with this. This would already free up so much inventory space that we can then use to actually identify all those items that we potentially want to use. I think such a drop down system could be really nice to have implemented directly into the game. And maybe we could even you know, have like a second checkbox for ancient and non-ancient. So that, for example, when you have already acquired like, you know, decent non-ancient roles of your items, then you can start salvaging all the non-ancients and you only keep those ancients. And then as you progress, you add more and more items to this salvage feature that will immediately be sorted out for you. Personally, I'm actually not a huge fan of automation, but I believe that especially in this regard, the Abel 3 is extremely terrible and the quality of life is abysmal and something has to be done here to make the gameplay experience more interesting and more fun again. So that you actually spend time playing the game and not wasting you know, precious minutes in town between every single run to try to get rid of those items that you find. I'm sure to go beyond this, there could be many other solutions to how to address this issue. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have some other ideas of you know, how a salvage filter, a loot filter or something like that could work in Diablo 3. Maybe you don't believe it's an issue at all, but certainly I think that especially when you play at the end game, when you have your full build and you blast those, you know, one, two minute speed runs, it is simply too much and it does take away a lot of the time. That doesn't just bother me as, you know, trying to be an efficient player, but also as someone who just tries to enjoy the game in the best way possible. I believe we have too much clutter of loot and I know that a lot of people are always asking for even higher torment levels and all this stuff. But the truth is that if you get higher torment levels, if you get even more loot, all these problems will become even worse to the point where you probably have to ret return to town like every 30 seconds while not even completing a single Nephilim Rift, for example, because the inventory will simply be flooded with legendaries. So I hope that we're gonna see some updates for quality of life. There are definitely other topics that should be improved as well, especially the crafting and uh, the cube recipes. So this is uh, another topic for another day, but I thought this was definitely something worth addressing first. So hope you enjoyed my thoughts here. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time.